Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Joe here, your full-time thrifter, part-time reseller. For those of you joining me for the very first time, welcome. I'm so glad that you found my channel. And I hope that you like this video so that you can subscribe and we can be cyber friends. For those of you coming back, welcome back. Always good to see you here. Today, I'm going to be filming a handbag haul. I'm going to be going through handbags that I found either at yard sale, thrift shop, or estate sales. Um, however, these handbags are what I call like my um, project bags. They're not necessarily project bags, but they're bags that are going to take me a little bit longer to get them back into shape uh, just because of the condition that they're in. Um, however, I still thought that they were in good condition to where I could still clean them up and sell them. Um, so without any further ado, let's jump right into this haul. First up, we have this beautiful Kate Spade handbag. Um, now this ended up in my project pile because um, I'm not too familiar on how to work with light leather um, products or handbags and so it's gonna take me a little bit to get this baby back in into shape. Um, I know I have some bright lighting so it's kind of hiding some of the imperfections but there's definitely a lot of markings throughout the handbag and so um, I, I have to do a little bit of research in terms of like how to get this clean but overall the bag is still in really really good shape. I could potentially just list it as is and I'm sure it will sell. It is really cute. It has like this metal chain and so you can use it as a um, little handbag or like a clutch. You could also, it also has this detachable um, crossbody strap and so you can use it as a crossbody. The crossbody strap is still in really, really good condition. The bag itself, it's very like buttery smooth. Um, we do have our Kate Spade logo into the front. And then we do have like this um, button release here. And then you can see some of that wear that I was talking about. Um, that's really noticeable through, through the area there. And then this is what the inside looks like. Overall, the inside is pretty, pretty clean. Um, we have our Kate Spade logo there, slip pocket. And then we have a zippered pocket there. This was a Goodwill find, and I found this for $14.99. Of course, it does need a little bit of work. I'm not really sure, like, how to get rid of this. I might just have to, like, I don't know, find, like, a leather um, dye or, like, a leather paint and see if I can um, diminish the appearance of that there. This is not dirty. This is just wear from where the, um, the hook there for the, the lock there is. So this was our first find. Up next, we have this really cute um, mini like shopper tote bag, and this is a coach. It is missing the um, the hang tag, but we do have like little uh, detailing in through here. So this says coach here. We have our high contrast stitching. We have leather bottom there with um, leather piping throughout the bag. The bag is made out of canvas. As you can tell, it is quite dirty. This will definitely have to be, um, clean, deep cleaned. The inside is overall pretty clean. It's not too, too bad. Um, it was a pre-loved bag in use, uh, condition, so it's expected to have some signs of use. There is our Coach Creed. Um, and then we do have one main compartment that's divided by this zippered compartment. So it creates like three different compartments. We have two top handles, really cute bag. This was found at a local thrift shop for only $9.99. Of course, I have to get this one cleaned and um, I'm ready to, to be photographed. So this was our second find. Up next, we have this cute uh, coach shoulder bag. These do really, really well on my shop. Um, whenever I list them, they usually sell within a week. You can tell that the uh, leather still has really high shine. It looks really buttery, but it's definitely very uh, worn. There aren't any like rips or anything on it, but you can just see a lot of discoloration, some scratching throughout. This handbag does have the coach hang tag. This is what the shoulder strap looks like. It's still in very good condition, but it's definitely been pre-loved. We have metal hardware um, and right into the middle faux buckle. We do have like the metal buckle with silver tone hardware that says coach there. We do have high contrast stitching. So this is going to be a little bit tougher um, to 
to get back into shape only because we do have the high contrast stitches. So I have to be very, very careful when I go back and I stain it. Um, so I'll probably, would, how I typically clean my bags, um, especially when with something like this where I'm gonna be staining, I use an alcohol wipe first to clean um, all the debris out. And then I go in with the stain. Um, depending on the condition of the leather, this leather is still in really good condition. Um, so I probably wouldn't precondition and then stain, I would just wipe down all the debris, stain, and then condition, um, just to get some of that moisture back into the leather. Um, otherwise, what I do is um, I'll, I'll clean, and then I'll condition, and then I'll stain, and then I'll condition again, um, just to make sure that the leather is still kept um, nice and, and supple and it doesn't over dry. Um, you can see most of the wear in like through the handle. It's uh, This is not um, dirty, it's just it looks like maybe this bag was like sitting in the sun. Maybe not, because if it had been sitting in the sun, it would dry out and it would become really stiff. But um, it definitely has some discoloration throughout. Uh, the interior of this bag is in pretty good shape, and that's why I picked it up. It's overall, I mean, it needs to be vacuumed. I vacuum all my bags, but overall, it's in pretty good shape. We do have um, a coach creed there. And within, underneath the flap, we do have two pockets here. So um, this was another thrift find. Oh, this was um, only $19.99, and this is a Salvation Army find. I did use my 25% coupon, so I ended up only paying like $15 for this bag, which I was very excited to pay. Up next, we have this beautiful Marc Jacobs handbag. Um, this is a very large handbag. It's also a very like popular uh, handbag that is made by Marc Jacobs. Um, this bag sells really, really well on my shop. It does come with this top um, handle, this like rolled handle, and then it does come with like a shoulder strap. I don't think that this is long enough to qualify as a um, crossbody strap, but um, it is a shoulder strap. We do have like this gold or like brass tone hardware. Um, as you can tell, this bag was definitely pre-loved. It has a lot of wear, um, but overall there's no rips or anything on the on the leather. It's still really, really nice, in really nice condition. Um, and so I will be staining, so this is gonna be one of like my biggest projects um, when restoring handbags, only because I have never worked with a bag that has this much wear, um, especially not in a color that's not like your black or your like dark brown. So um, I have had this for a little bit and I've just kind of been trying to research the best way to go about it because I definitely wanna give this bag a longer life. Um, it still has a lot to, to give and so I wanna make sure that I, um, I do, do the proper steps to get it there. Uh, let's see, the inside here, so we do have a magnetic um, closure there. This is what the inside looks like. So the inside's still in really, really good condition. I think I did scrub this one down a little bit. I don't remember, I've had it for a little bit. Um, on the inside there we have our Mark by Mark Jacobs, and so zippered pocket, and that's what the zipper pocket looks like. It's kind of deep, oh, actually it's not very deep, it's kind of shallow there but um we have this huge 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 amount of real estate within this bag and this bag was found at a local thrift shop for only five dollars that's a dollar sign and then five so five dollars so i was very excited to find this um and happy to pay the five dollars for it and last but not least i found this beautiful vintage kate spade um handbag and so you can see how like reflective and like high luster the the leather is um i looked this up and it happens to be like a, a pretty rare piece it's not very common um i did find it on poshmark um and so this is what it looks like we do have this high contrast stitching we have this beautiful buttery soft leather um this is the side there there's definitely some wear in through the corners this is the back here the bottom, we do have those protective metal feet there. And then we have two top handles. Um, and then we do have like the Kate Spade emboss in there. Inside, it's just lined with black fabric. The inside does need to be cleaned a little bit. Um, we do have a zippered pocket. And then all we have is this uh, tag here that says made in Italy. I looked up the handbag and I only found it on Poshmark and I found it um, described as like a rare vintage uh, Kate Spade bag and it was upwards of like $150. Um, so I decided to pick it up. I almost didn't pick it up uh, because I wasn't really sure. There is like somewhere 
on some of the stitching. Um, I don't know if like it's just the coloring that's gone. I do see some threading through there. So I wasn't really sure if I was going to be able to like fully restore it. But I figured it was only like $7.99. Um, let's see. Let me double check that. Yep. So it was only $7.99. So I figured the worst case scenario, um, you know, I could still probably sell it for like, I don't know, $50. $80 or something like that. But um, I will be restoring this and I'm pretty excited because um, this is a rare vintage uh, case made. And that concludes my haul for today. Thank you so very much for watching all the way to the end. Um, it really helps out my channel tremendously and I appreciate it. If you like this video, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe so we can be cyber friends. You hit that notification bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. And don't forget to leave a comment below. If you have condition or restored any handbags, tell me your tips and tricks on how to get these bad boys back into shape. Um, I've just done like trial and error and I usually use like a Dawn's um, dishwashing sub because it has like the degreasing de action. I did have a sub tell me to use the awesome uh, cleaner. It gets out a lot of stains including pen marks. So I went out and I bought it um, and I will be trying it um, on a couple a couple handbags that have pen marks. So um, if, if you guys know any tips or tricks on cleaning handbags or shoes, um, I welcome all of them and I love to hear them down in the comment section. And with that guys, I will be logging off for now, but I will be back soon with another video. Um, I want to wish everyone a wonderful day or night whenever you're watching and uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you soon. Bye.